Hello, in this Vulcan video, we are going to look at the staging buffer. So the vertex buffer that you know we have right now, you know, it works correctly, which is good. But the memory type that you know allows us to access it from the CPU, you know, may not you know be the most optimal memory type to use for the graphics card itself, you know, to read from. The most optimal memory has the VK underscore memory underscore property underscore device underscore lock underscore bit flag and is usually not accessible by the CPU, you know, on, you know, dedicated graphics cards. And in, in this video, we're going to create two vertex buffers, you know, one staging buffer in CPU accessible memory. And this will be used to upload the data from the vertex array to and from the final vertex buffer in the device's local memory. Then we'll use a buffer copy command, which will move the data from the staging buffer to the actual vertex buffer. So let's get going and do this. Pretty simple. We're gonna go down to where we have create vertex buffer. It's pretty far down to be fair. It's past this, I know it's before the find memory method uh, I think I've got that find I think I've gone too far now find memory type and create vertex buffer so we'll be moving a lot of this out into a separate command but before we do that let's implement what we need in create vertex buffer so first of all we're going to change the create vertex buffer method to only use a host visible buffer as temporary buffer and to use a device local one as the actual vertex buffer. We we'll say VK device size for this buffer size equals size of vertices zero and times that by vertices dot size. Okay, so now we're gonna be using a new staging buffer with a staging buffer memory object for mapping and copying the vertex data. So I'm gonna say VK buffer staging buffer VK device memory staging buffer memory. Google decided to speak. <laughs> it's quite funny to be fair. So now we're going to call a method called create buffer, which does not exist yet, but we will be implementing this very soon. So it's going to take the buffer size. It's going to take VK underscore buffer underscore usage. Let me spell this correctly. Underscore buffer underscore usage underscore transfer source bit or src bit we're going to put vk underscore memory underscore property underscore host underscore visible bit i'm going to or that with vk underscore memory underscore property underscore host underscore coherent bit and we're going to say staging buffer and then get passing the staging buffer memory as well okay so now that we've got that we're going to create a void pointer and uh, core data i'm going to say vk and map memory and let me see we've already got some of this already right here and uh, let's try and see what could we potentially you know copy over just to save a bit of time okay so we're gonna need the uh, data we're gonna need the mem copy map memory and the unmapping of the memory so we'll literally cut this and put it here Okay, we don't actually need the buy-in buffer memory here. 
at this stage. So I'll leave that there. So we've got the void data. We've got VK map memory, device, and we're going to pass in the staging buffer memory. Zero, and it's going to be buffer size, which we've already calculated. Zero, and a reference to data. Okay, fantastic. That's looking good. For mem copy, we're going to pass in data. The data of the vertices, cast the buffer size to a unsigned long long. Then we're going to unmap the memory and we're going to say staging buffer memory. Okay, so we are getting there pretty nicely now. And now what we're going to do is call the method for creating the buffer again. So we're going to, I'll copy this. This is going to be a slight little change. Okay. So we're going to pass in buffer size vk buffer underscore usage underscore transfer for this we'll put destination bit dst and this is going to be odd with vk underscore buffer underscore usage underscore vertex underscore buffer bit and then for this part we're going to have vk memory i'm going to get rid of this and this we're going to put vk underscore memory underscore property underscore device underscore local bit and we're going to say underscore vertex buffer underscore vertex buffer memory and now we're going to call a method called copy buffer, which we will be creating very soon. So copy buffer. And for this, we just pass in the staging buffer. The underscore vertex buffer. And the buffer size. Now we're going to destroy it. So VK destroy buffer underscore device staging buffer and if we want to call back we're going to put null pointer and we're finally going to just free the memory and put underscore device staging buffer memory null pointer and put a semicolon. Okay, so that is this method done now. And now let's implement the create buffer and we'll be moving a lot of this code over. So let's go down here, say void create buffer. And this is gonna take in a VK device size, call it size. It's gonna take in a VK buffer usage flags call it usage i'm taking a vk memory property flags call it properties i'm taking a vk buffer and it's going to be a reference to buffer and no comma there my mistake and it's going to take a vk device memory and it's going to be a reference we're going to call it buffer memory Okay, so in here, let's copy and paste all this code. We're gonna to need to do some slight changes to it from VK buffer create info all the way down. So cut that. So I said copy it, I meant cut it. And get rid of these new lines. Okay, so let's see what we need to change. So this is gonna be the modified version of the older buffer system that we had. So for the S type VK structure type buffer create info, we're all good. For this, we because we the size has actually been passed in. Let's put size. For the usage, we just put usage. And still sharing mode exclusive, that's all good. Create buffer, device, buffer info, no pointer. And for this we'll put buffer now. And just looking all good. This is fail to create a buffer, not the vertex buffer necessarily. 
for the mem requirements we got vk get buffer the voice buffer mem requirements alloc info vk structure underscore type underscore memory underscore allocate info that's all good and for this we're gonna put mem requirements dot memory type bits and for this we just literally put properties which has been passed through and uh, vk allocate memory and we just put buffer memory and fail to allocate buffer memory it's not necessarily vertex buffer memory vk bind buffer memory device buffer and buffer memory so those are all the changes we need to do in here now we need to create one more method just for copying the buffer it's a pretty simple method but you know something that we do need to well do so we can say void copy buffer vk buffer so you'll take that in first so be the source buffer and then we'll create a vk buffer for the destination buffer then we'll create a vk device size size like so and okay so the memory transfer operations are executed using command buffers just like drawing commands therefore we must first allocate a temporary command buffer for the copying purposes which is everything we're going to do here again pretty self-explanatory so i'll blast through all of this now the vk command buffer allocate info alloc info do i have anything like this anywhere no that's all good okay so now that we've got that we're going to say alloc info dot s type equals vk underscore structure structure underscore type underscore command underscore buffer underscore allocate info alloc info dot level equals vk underscore command underscore buffer underscore level primary dot command pool equals underscore command pool semicolon alloc info dot command buffer count equals one semicolon and now we're going to create the command buffer so vk command there we go command buffer semicolon I'm going to put vk allocate command buffers just pass in the device reference to alloc info and a reference to the command buffer so vk command buffer begin info begin info and now let's do this one just we only need to set a couple of things so begin info dot s type so the structure is going to be vk underscore structure underscore type underscore command underscore buffer underscore begin info semicolon begin info dot flags equals vk underscore command underscore buffer underscore usage underscore one underscore time underscore submit bit semicolon vk begin command buffer command buffer and a reference to begin info okay so now what we're going to do is just create a object for vk buffer copy and this will be the copy region so vk buffer copy copy region and copy region dot size equal size that was passed in vk cmd copy buffer 
and we pass in the command buffer, the source buffer, the destination buffer, and for the region count it's just one and a reference to copy region semicolon. So VK in command buffer command buffer semicolon VK submit info submit info so this is the last bit of code we got we just need to set three parameters and then just call free Vulkan method. So submit info dot s type as always go set the s type vk underscore structure underscore type underscore submit underscore info semicolon. We're gonna now put submit info dot command buffer count equals one semicolon submit info dot p command buffers equals a reference to command buffer. Now we simply just say vkq submit and we pass in the graphics queue and for the submit count as one we're sending reference to submit info and for the fence we just put vk underscore no handle. VKQ wait idle underscore graphics Q semicolon VK free command buffers underscore device underscore command pool one and a reference to command buffer like so. Okay, we're ready to give this a run. So it's a bit more code than I was originally expecting. So far, so good, no errors. And it's loaded up, it's just loading up. Just checking the validation layers. And there we go. We have our nice little triangle loaded. So that's it, we've got the staging buffer set up. It's a lot better system now. We'll just keep you know, improving it. And if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Over 5,000 members now. Feel free to post in the Vulcan channel directly for more specific help. If you want to check out the source code, feel free to take a look at the GitHub page. Again, link in the description with working projects that you can download and run as well. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Vulcan video.